In version 7.8 of Back Office Engine, we've totally redesigned the program scheduler to save you time. Let me show you how it works. So first we need to know a few bits of information. Firstly, what day do you meet on? Uh, for this example, I'm going to choose Thursday. And then what do you want to call each group? For this example, I'm going to call group 1 the exhibitors. I'm going to call group 2 the greeters. And I'm going to call group 3 the speakers. Then it needs to know how many participants are in each group each week. Uh, we have two speakers, so I'm going to select two and save those settings. Then I'm going to scroll down to the actual scheduler. The system is suggesting these six people for my first group. And that's based on the batting order over here. So I can adjust it by moving people up and down until I'm happy with the batting order. Then I'm going to create uh, this group, save it to the database, and notify these six people that they've been added to the schedule. So I created that first group. The red line around them means that they have not RSVP'd yet. If I want to save a note, I can do that. Save that note. Then it's going to suggest my second group. And it knows what day we meet on because I told it we meet every Thursday. So it, it knows that 9-10 is the next Thursday. If I'm not happy with the batting order, I can adjust it and I can create that next group. Oops, but I just realized there's a round table on that day where we don't really have speakers. So I, I can delete that group. Let me go back and delete that. And I'm going to tell the system that's a dark day. So I created a dark week. It tells me right here because it's a round table. Then I'm going to create my next week. It's, it's still going to pick up where it left off with uh, Jerry and Tony being number seven and eight because the previous group was five and six. Exhibitors from this week are going to move to greeters, and the greeters from this week are going to move to speakers, just like it should. So I'm going to create that group, and it works out great. Then I can go back to this round table and put in a couple volunteers who are going to fill in, even though they don't get to speak. And I can email them and tell them they've been added to this week manually. And I can keep going, creating weeks based on my batting order. And that's how it works. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact support at backofficeengine.com.